The events in financial markets will be watched very closely in Sweden. And that's because the European Social Forum, the anti-globalisation movement's answer to the World Economic Forum, is meeting there. For some analysis now on what their view is likely to be, we're joined by Henning Mayer from the Global Policy Unit. Has the global credit crunch changed financial markets thinking? Well, I would have hoped so. I mean, if this crisis hasn't it's changed anything, yes. I mean, it, it probably highlighted the, or some of the aspects that the European Social Forum has been pointing to um, for the last couple of years. And it, it might be an additional event that gives them more, uh, a bigger forum uh, to actually have their ideas heard. Uh, how much is globalization to blame for any of this? Well, globalization has at least set a framework that allowed this particular financial crisis to um, happen. So globalization has been associated with deregulation of markets, uh, creating a system in which you have very little rules. And in the system of very little rules, um, this allows for the, the sort of instability, boom and bust, that we are seeing at the moment. And, and that's, that's exactly why we've seen the collapse of some very big names indeed, is it? Because a globalization means you take the infrastructure away. No, not necessarily. I think the, the cases we're seeing at the moment um, have, many, have many reasons and many causes, but it is individual and, company and corporate decisions within a system that allows a, a great deal of freedom, maybe too much freedom, and, and creates a, a instability that allows crisis to materialize. Okay, some people say uh, the bankers just got plain greedy because banking was always associated with caution and they threw caution to the winds. Well, yes, and they were allowed to throw precautions to the wind. Um, very interesting, Joseph Stiglitz, the Nobel laureate, uh, recently um, hinted towards maybe banks should also have some sort of regulation of their products, uh, in, like pharmaceutical companies. They have to prove because, before they go to the market with their products that they are harmless. Maybe the same should take place uh, with uh, financial products as well. That's uh, what uh, Joseph Stiglitz hinted towards. But the general, the general debate is how was this greediness um, how could this materialize in a system that is deregulated uh, as this one is and how could this crisis develop? And certainly the system is, is partly to blame for this. All right, we'll leave it there. Henning, thanks for joining us. Thank you.